We're creating custom headers for this 1969 Buick Skylark on a modified roaster shop chassis with a supercharged Wagner motor, making over a thousand horsepower and a thousand pound feet of torque. Why are we designing our own headers? Yes. Okay, well, basically, this motor that we have from Wagner requires two inch primary headers. So there's not a huge amount of options. And one of the biggest reasons that we're creating our own headers is we ended up taking the body and more or less channeling it over the frame. So anything that's available commercially is generally long tubes, especially in a two inch primary. So they just won't work for this. So because of the, our layout, that's why we're having to make our own. We want to get every inch of ounce ounce of power out of this so he recommended two inch primaries which vastly limits our options because most stuff is inch and seven eighths so and just the way we want to route it we want to have it maximum ground clearance so he's not dragging long tubes all over the place so this is why we ended up having to do all this mm -hmm. so packaging and they're so, going to be equal length as close as we can get them mm -hmm. and then the firing order through the collector all that kind of stuff is going to be part of the design process, but I don't know if we'll be able to get them without making them look all wild and snaky. So I don't think we'll take it all the way, but we'll get them as close as we can. Sweet. So they should look pretty wild because it's pretty compact space. Nice. But Alex has got this. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, is, is the look of confidence in your eyes. So we are designing the headers pretty much, so... The motor and transmission in place. Yeah, it's in place now. So what we do is I'm going to scan everything in place. Yeah. So that with all the parameters we have for how the header is supposed to look, I can actually design it. Consideration of all the tolerances, all the things that are in the way that we've got to be mindful of. Before scanning, we put some markers on the heads and the area surrounding them. And then we use a scanning spray to ensure a more efficient and accurate scan. And then it's time to scan. For this, we're using the Einstar Shining 3D Scanner. We've been using it for about a year now and it's been great. Once the scan is done, we clean it up in the proprietary software to get it ready for working with in CAD. Designing up uh, the headers for the Skylark. So we're doing equal length, well try to make it equal length, um, the eight headers pretty much. So we gotta run two inch primaries, like Tim said, that's why we have to design our own because it's so hard to get the one that we need. Also like to be able to fit the size constraint that we have. So what I did was I kind of put the collector in space where we kind of want it to be relative to how we kind of mocked up the uh, the driver's side, which is more crucial. But we try to make it more look symmetrical, obviously, on the other side. So uh, that's where I had it placed. So I'm just kind of drawing to see what it would look like, um, how much room you have to work with. And it's got a basic feel for it uh, just to start. I just loaded the file up, place the collector, and it's getting started at this point. the header yeah so the clearance that we got it's not too much so it's like we want to keep it within the frame rails I guess uh, and with that I didn't really add up the runner lengths yet but I don't think we can really make it truly equal length just because of the constraints of um, size that we have but oh it's fine it'll look like a snake so maybe i'll try to make it like make the uh the closest headers maybe i'll try to make it push it closer to the outside more and then bring it back in but this cool. is what it looks like right now it looks cool Alex worked on further refining the shape and lengths of the headers and was able to get them in a good spot for us to make them. 
Right now we're scanning the interior of the Skylark. Um, yeah, we're doing a full interior scan so that we can send it off to the guy who renders it, proper dimensions rather than just photos. So he have, have, he can maybe model in 3D space, I'm not sure. But we're gonna scan the interior, send it to him. Uh, he's gonna design everything and then we're gonna get that design back, the renders back, and then we're gonna have to go back on our model and then actually design it, how it looks. Uh, so that's what we're doing right now. Once Alex was done with the interior scan, he was able to send it off to the interior designer to create a one-off custom interior for this thing. So if you want to see more videos of the process of making the custom interior, as well as the process of making the custom headers, be sure to like this video if you haven't and subscribe as well. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.